Hey, how's it going everybody? I wanted to show you guys something that might help you out when you're shipping large bulky uh, items like a big plush or a comforter in my case or afghan. I get these big uh, bags. These are This one here is a Ziploc storage bag. I got these, picked these up at a, a yard sale last year for a dollar. And uh, you can get these at uh, Dollar Tree or some of those dollar stores. It's a uh, big space bag and it's got a place right here where you hook your vacuum cleaner up to it. So I just sold this big Afghan on Macari and uh, I got to find a way to ship it. It's really huge. I think it was something like 10 feet by 10 feet or something. I don't know, but it'll, it'll fit on a uh, king size bed. So I got it at uh, Salvation Army for, I think I paid $7 for it. So what I do first is I'll get a, a large trash bag. to That's what I store it in while I'm waiting for it to sell. And then this is going to be bulky. But um, you take your bag and you open it at the top. And you try to compress it down as much as you can to get it in the bag. Because you're going to want to fold it up. So while I struggle with this, <laughs> well, I want to send a shout out to Just Me Kathy. She uh, shared my video I posted today, and I really appreciate that. Got me one new subscriber that I have seen so far. Her uh, videos are awesome. She does a lot of uh, dumpster diving videos. And uh, her thumbnails are always really neat too. But uh, every time I watch her videos, I want to go out dumpster diving. <laughs> I used to do it a lot, but haven't done it so much lately. Okay, now these bags, these Ziploc ones, have a big pleated bottom in them. So that really helps to get it in there. And then these also have this, of course it's Ziploc, so that's what it does. You Ziploc it all the way across and then there's still air in there all right then you just pop the top off here and it's got a little seal inside then you take your vacuum cleaner hose let's go get noisy for a minute Okay, there it is so far. It's a lot smaller. And uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, go ahead offline and, and finish uh, sucking the air out of this. A lot of times I'll set them on my chair and I'll set on them to help push the air out. But um, that's a basic idea. And I mean, you can take like a big plush and, and get it way sucked down to a lot smaller size. So then, um, it helps protect it. It gives the customer a bag to store it in, which they kind of appreciate. And uh, it doesn't save on weight, but if you have something that's like um, over dimensional size, sometimes you can get a lot of the air out of there and, and pack it down. You can do this with like coats or um, like I said, blankets, anything, anything that's bulky like that, that is able to be compressed. I think this says you can put up to 12 sweaters in it. Just stack them up and then it, it just sucks out all the air. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope that tip helps some of you out there with your shipping. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Before I go, I just wanted to show you um, I got it all boxed up and it's in a 22 by 14 by 6 box. I usually use these for uh, VCRs. 
and uh, dual VCR things. But uh, yeah, that's a, a lot smaller, a lot, lot nicer, easier to ship package. Um, I figured somebody was going to ask if I ship it in that bag. No, I don't. I, uh, I always put the bag into a box. If uh, that bag gets a slid in or something along the way, it's going to all uncompress. So <clears throat> there you go. All ready to ship out. And uh, if you guys don't have this priority tape, the post office seems to be real uh, particular about handing this tape out. I called and they uh, asked me a whole bunch of questions and sent me two rolls. So they wanted me to swear that I would not use it on anything except a box that's not priority box. You can't use one of the post office's priority boxes and put the priority tape on. They just want you to use it on regular cardboard boxes. All right. Well, thanks a lot. Have a good one, and I'll see you later.